At a time when our planet is undergoing a wave of intensive development, cannibalism continues to manifest itself in some parts of the world. Welcome to the Y Channel. Enjoy watching. New Guinea is the second largest island in the world after Greenland, one of the most recently explored areas on the planet. The charm of this country is not only its nature but also its population. The thing is, there are several tribes of true cannibals in Papua. The Koroi tribe that still live in the trees as well as their neighbors, the Kambai tribe as well as the Four tribe. Although in reality there may be more tribes. All of them have practiced cannibalism for centuries as part of magical and religious rites. More than once it has even happened that tourists have disappeared in these places. However, the most valuable currency is pigs. There are rumors that they eat both their own and others. The human brain is a real delicacy for them. It is also interesting that the bizarre practices of the four tribe have literally taken the world of medicine by surprise. By examining the brains of their fellow tribesmen, they mutated a certain gene and became immune to the severe Kuru disease, also commonly known as laughing death. It leads to dementia and produces symptoms similar to Alzheimer's and Parkinson's. Congo. Over 5 million people have died in the Congo in the last 20 years. And although most of the victims were not eaten, this country is definitely not in the last place in this respect. The thing is that during the war, rebel groups from 1999 to 2003 rose up to scare their enemies. They ate their hearts, and according to the United Nations, sometimes there were even acts of cannibalism against children in pacified enemy villages. This war left an extraordinary mark on the psyche of every person who was forced to go through this hell, and therefore, even today, there are often manifestations of cannibalism. However, this is not the only known case of cannibalism in war. For example, in the 1960s and 1970s, Cambodian troops had a ritual in which they ate the enemy's liver. Moreover, since many cities at that time were under the control of the communist Mir Rouge organization, which strictly controlled the food, they decided to artificially create a famine in the country. Tanzania it is perfectly normal for many in this country to persecute those affected by albinism. Nobody knows exactly how many there are. It is estimated that around 150,000, which is the highest in all of Africa. It is also unknown why so many people without pigment in the skin are born there. One thing is known, however. Every day they are at risk of losing their lives as others find their body parts magical and use them to make potions, amulets and food. An albino hand or leg can cost as much as $3,000. The heads, skin, eyes, genitals and blood of the victims are also used in magical rites. In fact, the problem of the death of albinos in this country is undoubtedly media coverage, but not the most important thing. Overall, history knows more cases of cannibalism in Africa. For example, in the countries of West Africa, there was a community of active leopard cannibals for a long time. Representatives of this community were usually dressed in leopard skins. Until the 1980s, in the area of Sierra Leone, Liberia and Côte d'Ivoire, they spread fear, killing ordinary tourists. The practice of eating human flesh in Fiji dates back roughly 2,500 years. These islands are even referred to as the cannibal islands in the historical records. However, since the 19th century, there has only been one known group of cannibals living in the caves. Usually they eat individuals of hostile tribes, which is interesting with the use of special ritual tools, because they believe that they are revenge rituals. Brazil Wary tribe They live today in the northern region of Brazil in the state of Rondônia, and they once inhabited the Amazon forests. Until the 20th century, they practiced endocannibalism, which is the eating of dead relatives and friends. In the early 20th century, however, the continual invasions of the Neo-Imogens looking for rubber trees resulted in the death of many of them, but cannibalism continues to manifest itself in some regions of the state. Apparently, this is due to the poverty levels being too high. India The secret Aghori community lives in cemeteries. He covers bodies with ashes from funeral pyres, uses human bones for his rituals, and even worse, he eats dead bodies. Despite these repulsive practices, 
there is a widespread view in India of their miraculous powers of magic. They believe that they draw a magical power from the bodies of the dead that allows them to heal lepers. Official data even recorded in the Guinness Book of Records confirm this. Write in the comments if you liked it, you can like this video, subscribe to the channel, and click the bell icon to not miss interesting materials.